The year 245 BC, the place Northern Egypt. A curious mathematician, musician, philosopher, and geographer calculated the circumference of the earth to surprising accuracy, armed with a vertical stick, a meter stick or measuring tape, and the noonday sun, you can do it too. Hi, this is Dave Cedarberg from Purdue Saturday Morning Astrophysics. Eratosthenes, in the great city of Alexandria, Egypt, learned that the shadow cast by an object in the noonday sun was longer or shorter than the shadow cast in a more northern or southern location. Based on the comparative difference between the angles of the sun's rays and the distance between the two locations, Eratosthenes found a way to calculate the circumference of the Earth. I'm going to show you how to repeat Eratosthenes' experiment, and you can do it for yourself. In order to do this experiment, you will need some sort of vertical stick or pole. You'll need a measuring tape or meter stick, a way to measure the length of the shadow, and you'll need the noonday sun. You will need to know the length of the pole and the length of the shadow that it casts. You'll want to take your measurement at exactly solar noon. Now solar noon is when the sun is at its highest point in the sky. You can figure out solar noon at your location with a simple Google search. At solar noon, you want to align the pole exactly vertically. We'll show you multiple ways to do this. On this pole, we have a little bubble level on the top so we can tell when it's perpendicular to the ground. You need a level surface on the ground and at the right time, solar noon, measure the length of the shadow from the edge of the pole to the outside edge of the shadow. And in this case, we have about 39.5 centimeters. Measure the length to the nearest 0.1 centimeter. We'll show you another way to create a vertical pole. We have a photographic tripod. I have a wooden dowel with a hole drilled through it and a string to hang it from the handle of the tripod. We want to make sure that it just barely touches the ground, hangs vertical, and then we can measure the shadow. Here's yet another way to create a vertical pole. We have a wooden dowel rod, a hook, a string, and a weight. When the string hangs parallel to the rod, we know that it's vertical. We're using gravity, and we can then measure the shadow. All right, and here's still another way. We've taken some cardboard squares or triangles, glued them together to make a corner, and glued a vertical stick in the corner. If I set this down on level ground, it'll be vertical, and I can measure the shadow. Just like Eratosthenes, you will need two locations to complete your calculations. You have your own data. Once you record your data and upload it, we'll provide you a link to other locations that you can use to compare and complete your calculations. There is a link in the description of the video to give you access to the complete written lesson, teacher resources, data study guide, and photos of others doing the experiment. We hope you have fun with our Eratosthenes project experiment. Share your results, let us know if you have any questions, and send us photos if you can.